In this lesson, we'll be adding some slicers to our model. Personally, I think they are bang for buck, the best feature in Excel by a mile. To add a slicer against our table, we just click anywhere inside our table, click on the insert menu from the top menu bar, and then click slicer. Excel will look through your headers to understand what field you've got, and it will give you this list of options here as tick boxes. We're going to click position, studio, and release year, and click OK. You'll see that it's made three slicers on the screen for us. It's at this point in the course that I'm going to show you what this dark grey area that we've left over here is for. So let's pick our slices up and roughly move them over. So I want release year at the top. I'm just going to reduce the size of it for now. Then let's put position below that and then studio below that. Don't worry that they're not lined up. We're going to sort that out in a minute. Before we go any further, let me show you quickly what slices do. Effectively, they're just a filter like I showed you earlier in the course. But instead of having to go into these clunky little buttons here that are tiny, unselect all, pick 2016 and click OK, I'm going to click cancel. I can just hit the button here in this slicer. And because it's nice and visual and similar to what you might see on a website, people intuitively know what to do with these things. And they can just click around and make their own reports and changes as they want to. To unfilter data from a slicer on a particular field, just choose the relevant slicer. So in this case, I'm going to choose position and click on the red cross at the top right. At this point, we only have a filter set on the release year slicer. However, you'll notice in the studio slicer that there's four dark blue options and the rest are light blue. What slicers do, and it's really smart, is they will stack all of the available options to the top and they will highlight them in a darker color or a different color of some kind. That is because they're the only logical available options. So in this case, 20th Century Fox, Universal Pictures, Walt Disney Pictures and Warner Brothers are the only studios that made films in 2016. So they're the only available options. The next little tweak really is personal preference, but I find it massively useful and just think it should be the default really in Excel. What I like to do is right click on the slicers, go to slicer settings and then click this hide items with no data. Let me just bring that across to show you better. Hide items with no data, click OK, and you'll see that instead of it color coding them, it now actually removes all of the options that aren't available. Let me show you as I click through the release year, and you'll see that different options appear in the studio slicer as choices. When you click on any object in Excel, and that could be a slicer, or it could be a picture, or it could be a text box, you'll see that some dots come around the frame of that object, and it allows you to resize things. So let's just do that with the release year one, and we're going to set the width by dragging and dropping it there. In the next lesson, we'll be ensuring that the slices we've just made are optimized for the users of our tool, and that they fit seamlessly into the left sidebar, which we created specifically to hold them.